All right, church, it's time for another Wednesday Wi-Fi. How is your divine connection? We finally wrapped up all of our Christmas festivities and now we're approaching the new year. I pray that you had an incredible Christmas and an incredible time celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. So today in our Wi-Fi, we're gonna talk about the shield of faith. And the shield of faith is used to quench every fiery dart of the evil one. And I think it's important to know that in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse one, it says that our faith is the substance of things hoped for, it's the evidence of things not seen. And so what that tells me is you're gonna be hoping for things, you're gonna be believing for things from the Lord. You may have prayed for something and your faith is activated when you don't see it yet, but you're still believing for it. And so what you do is you hold the shield of faith high that says, I don't see it yet. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm believing it will come to pass. God has spoken a promise to me. He's given me a word about something, or I've been praying and sensing the Holy Spirit's presence upon a decision. And so I hold my shield of faith high. And what happens is the enemy will always try to creep in and put doubt where your faith is. And those are the fiery darts that Paul talks about in Ephesians chapter six that there are these fiery darts that the enemy likes to throw your way. The enemy likes to throw fiery darts at your shield of faith. But as long as your shield is held high and you stand on the word of God, it will quench one by one the lies of the enemy. If you look back at the start of Genesis, the first thing the enemy tries to do is dismantle their faith in God by saying, did God really say? He wants to dismantle your faith and he wants to bring low your shield of faith by having you doubt the word of God, by having you doubt that what God said he'll do, he'll actually do. But we hold the shield high and we say, no, God said it, I believe it. God's not a man that he should lie. I may have been lied to by people, but God isn't a person. God is God almighty. Even in flesh, he is divinity. And so I thank you, Jesus, that we hold the shield of faith for the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let's give you the sermon wrap up in 60 seconds. Here's the recap of this past Sunday. This past Sunday, we talked out of 1 John, the eyewitness account that he had. He had seen and heard about Jesus Christ. And the bottom line is, we've gotta make sure that based on their account, that we've had our own firsthand encounter with Jesus Christ. And when you've had an encounter with Christ, it changes you forever. And I'll tell you something else, when you've had an encounter with Jesus Christ, now all of a sudden the heavy lifting is done by him. You don't have to go to the different wells that the world has to offer. You go to Jesus who is the one who quenches that supernatural thirst that you have. And come to him if you're tired, come to him if you're weary. Jesus says, come to me, you are weary and heavy laden. If you're burdened by something, come to Jesus. Bring those burdens to him and experience the lightness of his glory and his presence. I love you, church. I'll see you for the wrap up of the year this coming Sunday. We're going to celebrate everything God has done in 2023, and we are excited for 2024. I'll see you then. God bless you, church.